you still own one unless you're looking for the first part out of Florida, go ahead. Well, I'm probably going to celebrate shortly anyway. We're not using it like we thought we would. Good afternoon, everybody. What you're looking at there and what you saw in the previous clip is my Yezu FT70D. And I hope that wind's not messing with you. Probably. The wind doesn't blow at all until I start talking. Uh, <laughs> it's karma paying me back for not listening to my wife. Okay, so I think I'm out of the wind now. We actually put up a tarp in our pavilion on one side to stop some of the wind. The only thing that does, though, is just kind of traps the smoke in here when we have the wood fire or the wood shoot fire pit going with the wood uh anyway let's talk about the, the radio i was trying to show you that it's, it's operating on c4 fm uh through my hotspot and i have an aftermarket antenna on it uh can't remember what the antenna's called uh whatever but it's it's about 16 inches long and it works awesome now with my hotspot I can hit uh, anywhere on our property here. We got about 50 acres. I can I can still reach uh, the hotspot, and it can still reach me, and I can still hear and communicate and whatever through uh, through American Link or whatever whatever uh, room I'm on or or whatever. But I didn't buy the aftermarket antenna for that. I bought that so that I could reach the FM repeaters that are around here. That hotspot, even with that stupid uh, rubber duck dummy load that they sell them with, which I don't have with me, it's on the other uh, Yezu radio, the one that I did a video on in the bag that's in my truck. <clears throat> Just a stock dual band dummy load. It comes up about here. Dummy load. I call it a dummy load. It is kind of a dummy load. The rubber duck, it's only about that long. Uh, I couldn't hit anything. I put this on, and then I can hit everything. Let's see if we can turn him on. Uh, yeah, next one extreme. Ooh, locked. Uh, four. So. Okay, there's that's a repeater. And that one's working great. Yeah, and I am Kerchunk, and I'm gonna identify. Don't get me. Uh, that's Philo. That digital. That's a digital one. Okay, it's amazing. And this is WB zero. That's the only. That's the only channels that I have programmed on. But this thing is awesome. Any aftermarket antenna is going to be better than the stock antenna that comes with it. In case you're wondering, yes, I did go back and identify. Uh, the radio itself is pretty powerful, and it's relatively small. There's a, a container of deliciousness beside it to compare. Uh, it's smaller, of course. It goes straight on it. It's, it's uh, small. Oh, gee whiz, losing the camera. Uh... They say the batteries aren't that good on these, but I love it. Uh, I don't know. They say you're supposed to buy the rapid charger. I don't have that. I just have the, the one you plug in on the side, right there where my thumb is. And it does take forever to charge. So I suppose the rapid charger is a lot more rapid <laughs> than the not rapid charger. Uh, it comes with a, a data cable, and you know, there's your port for your, your mic. Your speaker mic or whatever, speaker slash mic, whatever, mic, whatever. Um, aside, your basic everything. It's just a normal HD that I like a lot better than the other EA2. Uh, the other thing I don't like about it so far, I've used it for, I don't know, probably a month or better here. Uh, to do, this is only to change your channels, but it's also a selector, but you have to hit something else. You have to hit your volume and then you can turn it. Uh, it's just another thing with, like, I would have liked it better if it would have had another knob on it for your volume. Oh, dropping it. Uh, and they're incredibly cheap. It was like 150 bucks for it. They, when these things first came out, they were over $300. Uh, I primarily got it for portable uh, C4 FM. Uh, fusion, you know, system fusion. Uh, cool little radio. And it doesn't weigh much. And, of course, it's got the belt clip. I don't know. Check them out. They've been out for about five years now, I think. So it's not like a brand new thing. Durable. Uh, the lock is pretty simple. When you power it on, you power button, you push and hold. And then if you want to lock it so you're not banging on stuff in your pocket or whatever, you just tap that and it locks. The only thing I don't like about the extended antenna, I bought it so it was longer. Uh, the only thing I don't like about it is it's too long. If I have it hooked on my pocket, on my right side, that and I lean over, that digs into my armpit. So, 
Now, of course, that's something I'm just going to deal with. If it was hooked on around front a little bit more and I bent over, that could get me in the eye, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. Use common sense, I guess. Transmit at your own whatever. That's about it. Uh, yeah, there's more stuff coming up. I got a HRI 200 I'm going to be talking about in an upcoming video. When I get time, I'm still doing firewood. I've restacked this side uh today it's like right there i can show you that real quick here interested not really ham radio related but i suppose it's prepping related i think you can see there's two layers there's one layer back there and one layer up here we've used this much already this winter or i guess we're not even into winter yet but then there's two bays and then there's more other places this whole front half you can see it's tucked back in now it was like flat backside moved and leaned into it and it all come tumbling down on the ground so i spent some time doing that this morning uh you know there's another thing i'd like to show you here which also taken up a lot of my time where we're at we finally did get good internet and i had a couple extra routers so we have internet here at our pavilion that's a cat5 variable cable that I haven't buried yet. It actually goes that way. Way back to where the cabin is. About a thousand feet. And it works. I'll show you that sometime. But uh, here's a... Uh, uh, here we are. It's on and up and running. At our pavilion. We could stream whatever. Actually, I could upload this here if I wanted to. I could upload this from the cabin. It's so weird that suddenly that ability is there. Whatever. Okay. That's boring enough. Leaves are gone, man. Of course, I point at the only tree that has leaves on it when I say when I say leaves are gone. Whatever. That's it. Uh, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And uh, you know the drill. If you want notifications, you ring the bell, whatever. Uh, leave me some comments. I do actually enjoy the comments. That's like one of the coolest things. Oh, I wanted to give a shout out. A guy gave me a shout out the other day. So I was going to repay the favor. NB88. It's a fella up in Maine, and he does like an off-grid cabin kind of thing, and uh, lives pretty much the same life that I live here, but only he's in Maine. Uh, great guy. His channel's pretty big, too. I think he just hit, uh, was it 10,000 subscribers? He's pretty cool. His videos are awesome. Actually, I don't think he has a bad video. So, anyway, give him a watch, and, uh, you know, I don't know, enjoy, I guess. <laughs> All right, folks. Thanks for watching, and as always, have a good one.